Here we are, well I've just come up to have a quick look at the maize field uh, and you can see here it's actually uh, just started to really sort of come up and really show through the soil now. Um, it was planted, I'm not sure, I'm trying to think now, uh, probably about three weeks ago and um, we had a nice bit of rain about a week ago and it really boosted it on. Of course it's quite warm now and the maize loves a bit of warmth. Um, and you can see down the rows the plants looking okay but you can see also see if we look close we can see a bit of rabbit damage here um, and the rabbits have just chomped the tops off of I mean if you look at the long leaves on there and then you look across to that one and that one next to it as well um, and that is a problem when these plants are young like this they're really tender and juicy I imagine to a rabbit and also their rabbit height perfect for eating when they get above this they'll be all right but um we'll have a little walk down the field i don't think it's too much of a problem i have got a friend who's coming out with an air rifle to take a few out uh, it's not a massive problem in this field but we might just have a look at a bit more rabbit damage further down the field but for now it's all looking quite good Okay, so I've walked a bit further down the field and I can see a bit more damage from the rabbits. You can see actually here they've taken some out in between the plants. Um, that one's really munched off for that one. And then we go along and there's a little bit left of that one. And then there's a gap. Nothing. These are left. And then nothing again. So, and there's the evidence of the rabbit. There's the rabbit poo. That's probably made up of maize. So this is like a buffet for the rabbits. Again, um, I've lost a few here, but not too bad. I can see a few gaps along there. Um, could be a lot worse. I'll have to check again if and see if it gets any worse. Let's keep going down the field and see what else we find then. Well, there's more evidence of the rabbits. There's a, a lot of rabbit poo there. Um, again, nibbled, but not totally destroyed. A few more gaps. Let's keep going down here. You see it, it, the gaps are more obvious here, it's obviously where they're living and I dare say looking in the hedge there, I mean it's always worse by the hedge, that's probably where they're in somewhere in there. Looks pretty flattened down there, I imagine there's some rabbits inside there somewhere. Um, definitely a bigger bear bit here. Keep going down, see if we find any more damage. And here we are a bit further down, evidence of more rabbit damage, well they're digging holes here and we've nibbled these again. That one's nearly out of the ground. You can see they're pretty active here. Um, plenty of poo there. I'm not too concerned because let's face it you've got to take a few losses with this and really it's not going to be too bad. The rest of the field's looking pretty good. Um, got to expect some losses by the hedge, I think, just because that's the way nature is. Uh, you can see here, I think this looks like a pretty fresh attack. Look at that, there's still remains of the plants left on the ground where they've chomped them. But like I said, a friend with an air rifle's up here, going to be up here soon. So hopefully he'll take a few out. Anyway, I'm heading back to the Lamb Raver, which is down in the corner, leaving this like it is. It is what it is. These are alright. Not too bad. 